But for tonight, schools that are typically rivals on the field came together tonight to honor a high school senior who died in a car crash last week. Good evening, I'm Chad Silver. And I'm Sydney Moore. South Stokes hosted Elkin for a baseball game tonight. They were paying tribute to 18-year-old Blake Hughes. WFMY News 2's I, Denise McMiller spoke with his family about the outpouring of support. The South Stokes Sorrows played a somber baseball game under a cloudy sky. Everywhere you turned was Blake Hughes's number 13. From the field to the bleachers, even worn by the coach of the opposing team, it was a difficult game without Blake on the baseball diamond. He died in a crash while heading to a game last week. He deserved you know, everybody to know his name, you know, because he was an amazing person. He was growing into a great young man, and I just it's just amazing to see that they love him. And honoring him, you know, just means a lot. Cody Mullins is Blake's older brother. He threw the first pitch at Monday night's game, which raised money to support his family. It meant a lot to me, and I'm a, I'll be able to always remember that, you know, in the future I'll be able to look back and be happy about it. You know, I heard that they retired his number. A number retired but never forgotten. Hundreds came out to support by donating and buying food. All the money raised went directly to the Hughes' family. Daphne McCone works at West Stokes High School. She ran concessions so the South Stokes community could mourn and celebrate Blake's life. I think it's just important to know that when you're part of a community to spot, help each other, to be there for one another, and I think that's what we're doing here tonight. Baseball coaches from other teams put their rivalry aside to stand with the Sowers. Kirk Goodson, the head baseball coach at West Stokes, says he'll never forget when his team played against Blake earlier this year. And he had a double against us, so, uh, you know, he, you know, a hard, hard-nosed player, you know, you just feel the, the hurt, the pain, but also you want to, you know, want to celebrate his life. The Sowers played hard in Blake's name, beating Oakland five to four. Cody holds tight to the game ball he plans to frame. Signed, long live Blake. In Stokes County, I, Denise McMiller, WFMY News 2.